Edmonton composer Alan Gilliland is one of the busiest classical music composers in Canada. Seen here working with the Alberta Baroque Ensemble on entirely original music. And so that's why it's those weird time signatures, three, four, and five. In the case of this ensemble, I'm writing for two sections of violin, so violin one, violin two, and on the violin one part, there are five players. And then there are the viola, cello, bass, and harpsichord, which is the real defining instrument of yeah. the Baroque sound. Alan Gilliland is a South Edmonton boy, now aged 51, born in Scotland, but musically educated at McNally High School, Humber College, and a master's degree at the University of okay. Alberta. He has a PhD from Edinburgh. Yeah, yeah, cool. As a commissioned composer, he writes for symphonies, jazz bands, chamber orchestras, and choirs. He's one of Canada's busiest and most recognized composers. I usually do three or four commissions a year. Uh, I was in residence with the Edmonton Symphony for five years, and uh, from 1999 to 2004. And so I wrote like 11 or 12 pieces for them when I was there, and, and continue to write for them, continue to write. This is my third commission for the Broke Ensemble, and I write for choirs and string quartets. And Whoever asks, I write for it. Edmonton cellist Rhonda Metzies had worked on Alan's score three or four months before going into rehearsals. I've not done this before, in which um, I've played a piece that I haven't heard first. I'm the person that has to sell it, and so I, I have to love it. I really do. I, I can't sit up there and play something that I'm thinking, Wah. and uh, so my heart was in my throat a little bit waiting for Alan to produce uh, my part. The only instrument I know how to write for really is the trumpet because that's the instrument that I play. Uh, otherwise, when I write a concerto of this nature, it's got to be a collaborative process because I, I, I will never know everything that is easy and everything that's hard on the instrument. So the first process for me is always just to write what I want to hear and then I get together with a soloist. Her tremendous sound is the result of superb musicianship but also from a vintage cello with all the right makeup. It was made in 1749 uh, and uh, by a British maker named Peter Walmsley. They uh, look at the rings of wood to, to verify it is the age that it is, and they decided that it was made from two pieces of wood, uh, one from a tree that was felled in the 1730s and one from a tree that was felled in the 1680s. Of course, the composer was very pleased with the result, as the Alberta Baroque Ensemble, under direction of Paul Scheman, worked their professional musical magic. This is always the, the moment for me where I'm usually you know, curled in the fetal position in the back of the room, worried, but now, now that it's been played once all the way through, I'm really happy with the way it sounds, and Rhonda sounds fantastic. For Go, I'm Tim Dancy.